So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we have discussed all the built-in data type in C++. Int, char, float, double, void character, boot, void, right? Now we'll discuss one small topic and that is important also for beginner point of view. That is for input and output in C++. How to take input from the user, how to print output, right? Actually, I should have discussed this uh, topic uh, long ago uh, after uh, discussing the structure of a C++ program, but I forgot to discuss this thing. Right, because whenever you write a program, these two things are obviously will do this. These two things will take some input, do some processing, will print something, or maybe we can skip to take input. But output is necessary for every program. In every program, we print something. We need some output. Like simple, we you write a program of printing hello world, then the output is hello world. You are printing something, right? So output is you know important part, or you can say compulsory in a program. So now how to print, we, we were using like C out, right? But for input, we use C in. So these two things we'll discuss in this video, how to take input from the user, how to print output with the help of a program, I'll show you, right? So see for input and output in C++, we have many standard, you know, built-in libraries, standard libraries. One of them is generally we use as IO string. Like we write hash include IO string. This is header. Input, output, stream. I means input, O means output and string, right? Now this stream is what? It's just a sequence of bytes. Or you can say sequence of characters, right? In 1984 actually, Straustrup made the first stream input output library, right? So the input we take, the output we generate, everything would be considered as a sequence of byte or you can say sequence of characters. Right? That's why we don't use in this, uh, you know, that format specifiers like percentage D, percentage F for flow. They consider everything as a sequence of character or sequence of bytes. So we generally use some operators. Uh, we generally write something like this C out and this, this is what operator C in. This is what known as operator. Now this operator is what everything we'll be discussing in this video one by one, right? So this would be considered as sequence of characters or bytes, the input and output. So stream is what sequence of bytes or characters. Now two types of streams are there. One is input stream and one is output stream. Input stream, I stream and this is generally basically we can say class. Name of the class is I stream for input stream and name of the class for this is O stream for output. Right? It means I stream, input stream means uh, using this we take input, right? So means flow of characters or flow of bytes from any standard input device. Like for example, you can say a keyboard to the main memory. Obviously we store the whatever we will take, we store that in memory, main memory, right? Because whenever a program would be executed, that would be loaded into main memory. So the input is going to be stored in main memory, right? The variables and everything we make, fine. And output stream means the flow of bytes or the flow of characters, the flow of data would be from main memory to output screen, to any output device. For example, we can say our console screen, that is one output device, right? So two uh, streams are there. Input stream, output stream, the class regarding to this is what I stream and O stream, right? Now, for input or first of all, let me discuss one thing. Basically, in this standard library, we have four standard input output objects. Four standard input output objects has been defined in this standard library, right? Now, what are those four input output object? First is one is C in, C out, C E double R and C low. So C in, C out, standard input, C out for standard output, C R R, standard error, unbuffered, right? The error is not to be stored. Just generally you can, at the, at, you know, at the same point of time you can print the error message. Unbuffered, this is unbuffered and C log is what? Yeah, actually buffered, log you have heard general information we used to store, right? So this is for general information, right? So now this C in is of type 
I stream class. Or you can say the C in is what? A predefined object. See this thing you need to take care. C in, C out, this C, E double R, C log, these are what? Objects. So sometimes they can ask you in Viva or sometimes in interview like from a, a fresher. C in and C out or what? And students got confused. They don't know. They uh, sometimes call it these are keywords or these are functions or these kind of things. But C in, C out, these are predefined objects. C in is predefined object of class I stream. C out predefined object of class O stream. I'll show you this thing also. Right? On my laptop when we'll discuss a program. So stay tuned. Now this is of type O stream. CRR this is also of type O stream and this is also of type O stream. And scene is of type I string. Right? Predefined objects. This is what a class you can say. I stream is a class, O stream is a class. Now see this scene is linked to standard input. Standard input means keyboard. It is linked to standard input. Right? Used to take input from keyboard. C out is what? It is linked to standard output. Standard out output is what? Your output screen. Please note down these points. You can make your own notes. Right? Or actually I have also uh, some you know handwritten notes and I'm planning to distribute these notes but I'm not getting so much time because of some busy schedule but I'll distribute these notes also. See I guess uh, we have discussed these things. Now what more about input and output in C++? Okay, one more thing is left the operators we use with the scene and generally we use these two things only for input and output, right? So with C out we use this, op this operator, for, with C in we use this operator, right? These are operators, right? So this operator is known as insertion operator. This is known as extraction operator. Insertion, why insertion? See, whatever you will write, like I am printing JK, right? So, this C out is linked to standard output, right? So, now this, this output we need. So, this output would be considered as sequence of characters. So, this would be inserted using this operator. You can say into this object and this object is linked to output device and that, that is why it will give output to our output screen. That is why it is known as insertion operator, right? Or sometimes they call it as output operator also, right? This is extraction operator. Now, C in is linked to standard input. Suppose uh, we can say a keyboard. So, whatever you will type that would be inserted into C in, like using this object we take and using extraction operator, that input would be extracted. And suppose I am writing here A, so that output or suppose I am entering this is integer array I am entering 5 so that 5 would be extracted from the scene and would be put into this A in main memory. So flow of data is from you can say that input device to main memory flow of data is from main memory to standard output device right in C in and C out. So I guess these operators are also clear to you. Now let me show you with the help of a program. See, let's take a simple program. Just I'm taking one integer, a variable a, want to ask the value from the user, user will enter the value and whatever enter, entered value that would be printed on the screen. So first is hash include, obviously we, we are using C in and C out. These are objects, right, which are already defined in which header in this, uh, you know, uh, library, IO string. So that is why the library, standard library for that header is what IO stream. So that's why we simply use this header IO stream, right? Hash include, you know, this is preprocessor. Hash include means preprocessor directive. It will show, it will direct to that, uh, you know, preprocessor that you have to include the content of this file into this program, right? And then after that only we can use whatever the content in this file, right? Now, using namespace std, why we are using this namespace? As namespace, uh, namespace is just simply uh, you can say group of you can say declaration of objects classes or variables or functions etc right so whatever is defined in this io stream that is within the namespace std it is mainly used to resolve the name conflicts right and you can 
also create your own namespace namespace about the header file i have discussed in more detail in the video when we were discussing structure of a c++ program you can see that video in the side button right or separately i'll also upload a video on the namespace so the scene and see out these objects are all defined in this header in this file but in this file also within a namespace std right so it means we are using std or if you don't write here using namespace std simply you can write std colon colon means this c out we are using from this standard namespace std this c in we are using from this standard namespace std right that is also fine because the c out it is also possible you can create a variable name c out so now compiler would be confused like this c out this is a simple variable or what is the c out so you have to tell this c out and c in is from the standard namespace to resolve the name conflict that is why because if you don't write this std std compiler would be confused there would be name conflict a variable also c out name this object also c out this is predefined object and this is simply a user defined variable right that's why we use mainly namespace right so i'm using here using namespace std that is why i'm not writing here this thing right now simply main is what you can say a driver for this program first of all control whenever you execute this control will go to the main function right from here it would be execution would be started so now int a one in memory a variable name that would be created four byte of space now see out enter a this would be printed on the screen as it is whatever you will write in double quote as it is would be printed as an output right now see in a user suppose will enter 5 so this 5 would be stored here now again we want to print the value so see out this operator insertion operator value of a equal to this would be as it is printed on the screen and if you want to fetch the value obviously you want to fetch the value of a so simply you will write a again these operators and a why again these operators because this is what a string and this is what i want to print value like value of this a so this output has been changed from simply a string to i want to fetch the value from the memory that's why if you this output this kind of switching is done then before that you have to put again the operator insertion operator right same agar in case you want to include you want to enter two value again you can put this operator and c three value again you can put this operator and c whenever change happens we write down these operators right so now let me show you this thing for my laptop okay see i have taken a simple program in which i am just i just want to print age and name of a person right so we have included this io stream using namespace std main function i have just taken char because name would be string right and the length i have taken 50 then int age and i'm asking c out enter name right and then again this operator and e endl this is what manipulator endl means it will insert you can say new line or you can say after enter name the cursor would be in next line it is just a manipulator not a string so that is why this kind of output has been changed enter name is string then we are just using a manipulator so if changed these kind of change is done then again we have used this operator right then how to input c in and the name of the variable is name then c out enter age then i endl then c in again age now i am printing the name is the name is this would be printed as it is and whatever the value in that name variable string type of thing that that would be printed i want to fetch that thing so for that we have to use obviously the name of that variable we have taken name so name again these operators and age is that i guess i want as it is would be printed and age is and after that whatever the age whatever the value in that age variable so simply again this operator and simply write write down the name of the variable age and at last we have used endl again then it turns zero right now let me just first of all run this and show you what kind of output you will get see okay error nm does not okay it's nothing let me just run this again see enter name and cursor is in new line 
because of endl we have used right so i am just entering name jenny right enter age right so age i am entering 30 name is jenny and age is 30 right so see the name is added as it is would be printed and jenny is in the variable name name variable name is name so rather than this at the place of this name this name has been replaced by jenny and this age variable has been replaced by 30 right now see let me just show you what is this in io stream i have told you in this io stream we have standard objects right this is the standard io stream objects in this so now let me just show you see these objects are in namespace std right and in std we have mainly four standard object scene c out c double r c o right these four are for wide character because here also uh, this uh, support wide characters also we have data type w care underscore t so for those we use wc in wc out w uh, c double r and wc low right you can also uh, see the description also linked to standard input c out is linked to standard output this is linked to standard error and buffered this is also linked to standard error this is but buffered this would be stored right now see if you click on this i stream see here the cursor is there right so base class for character input streams this i stream right and this o stream is would, would be what press control and click on this this o stream is what just base class for output streams right so so i hope this is clear to you like why we are including io stream and why we are using this std because this definition is in this namespace std as you can see right so we are using we, we have we have to tell the compiler that we are using these scene and see out from this namespace standard namespace std right and if, if you want to take the input in the same line simply you can write like enter name and age right and we just delete these two lines and in one line only we simply write name again these operator and age because one more input we want to take right and after that the name is this and this would be printed now let me just run this and show you what output you will get see enter age name and age so name is you can say rahul okay where i am print here rahul and age is suppose 25 see the name is rahul and age is 25 right so in one line also you can take these kind of input many input 1 2 3 4 5 as many as you want so i think that's it about input and output in c++ see one more you know input output standard library for input output is what io manip for manipulators that also I'll discuss in separate video right two to three input output standard libraries are there but mainly we use generally these two things for this thing we use io string right i hope this input and output is clear to you guys if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section right or you can message me on, on my instagram account i'll try to answer those queries right now i'll uh, see you in the next video till then bye bye take care